Welcome back to the channel. With the winter weather upon us, it's time to get back to the workbench and well, get some projects on the go, get some things made. We're going to do a mailbag today. First, out of the box, this is going to get a full review. Multimeter and oscilloscope two in one. What a, it's a crazy time that we live in right now where I can pick up a scope meter from eBay for a ridiculously cheap price, but this is going to get its own uh, a dedicated review. So that'll just serve as the teaser. That's going to be a fun little toy. Big thanks to PCB Way for sponsoring this episode and making quality PCBs available at reasonable prices. Make sure you check them out for your next electronics project as well check out their advanced PCB services for more industrial or high precision uses. Check out their shared projects page as well where you can share your project and earn 10% commission on your first one. Next up. We got, I think these are a bunch of heat sinks. Now, various projects you're gonna end up to need to dissipate heat. And one of the easy ways to do that is with a heat sink. This is an aluminum heat sink. Full length is, where's my little trusty ruler. I have no idea. These are coming in at a little over two and a half inches. What are we? We're at it's an odd measurement. <laughs> Just under seven centimeters. It's an odd length. But I think these are originally intended for Raspberry Pi stuff. But um, I'm going to use them for a slightly different purpose. We got a whole bag of them from an eBay seller. Uh, pretty good deal. So, yeah, I think those will do the job. Some RC goodies. These are just servo extensions. Now, this is super handy stuff to have for Arduino projects. This this three conductor wiring with the servo connections on them can be used for anything because that's the same pitch as a, a breadboard or any standard pin header. So you can use these to extend stuff out or if you have the terminal kits like I do, you can make your own ends for them. But uh, for the price that they charge for these pre-made out of China, it's cheaper to buy them than make your own if you just need these extensions. So super handy. Next out of the box, some random things. These are stubby FPV antennas. This is for an upcoming build you're going to see. Maybe I'll do just a dedicated RC mail bag, but these are um, uh, right-hand circular polarized 5.8 gigahertz antenna. Really, really stubby. Um, this is going to be really nice for uh, some nano talon and a flying wing build because it's really low profile. It doesn't need to stick up real high. We'll give them a go. Got two of them. Not a name brand or anything. Also, and this wasn't from the same supplier, but somehow it ended up in the same envelope on the mailbag shelf. These are banana to BNC adapter. Now, what I'm going to use this for, it, it comes up here and there where it would be awfully handy to have the ability to go from my frequency generator, my field tech uh, arbitrary waveform generator, generator to uh, meter leads. So this will allow me to do that. And they, they were just Amazon specials. They were in the local warehouse, so handy dandy. Um, good for good thing to have. It's not very often that I need it, um, but we're gonna use it for that, uh, that scope review. Some strips for doing my own lithium ion battery packs. Uh, my, my spot welder came with some of this, but now I have a whole nother roll. Another Maytech FC722 wing flight controller. This board is like uh, insanely, wonderfully well-positioned board for flying wings for doing INAV for full GPS uh, guidance. Actually, any aircraft. It's not just flying wings. Um, it's just, I can't say enough thing about this. I had super good luck with the Nano Talon. Um, about 70 bucks-ish right now. 
and the price will likely come down. But uh, for an F7 full, uh, CPU behind it, unbelievable. Uh, looks like we got some more FPV antennas. Yeah, these are Pagoda style antennas. SMA connection and the Pagoda style is kind of these these flat plates with the air air gap between them. It's just printed circuit board fiberglass and uh, they work really really well. Um, very resilient. They're low drag because uh, well as long as the air is flowing through it that way it's fairly low drag but uh, really um, robust. Hard to break so got a few of those handy dandy. Uh, check this out. This is a might be a fun little project. This is because it's cold outside. I knew this day was coming, so I got myself a hair dryer. Now, you say, what are you going to do with a hair dryer? Well, what I'm thinking is uh, this is a travel hair dryer for uh, hooking up to your car, 12 volt or up to 15 volts or so. This might be really great to just hook onto a lipo pack and I might have to throttle it down. I'm not sure. And I can put this inside my transmitter mitt uh, to keep my hands warm when I fly in the cold weather. Also got this. Um, this is an automotive heater, again, that plugs into the dashboard. Uh, this is a bit more unruly because I didn't know which would work, but it's just a heating element and a fan that blows out of here. And but I think one or the other I think will be quite handy to use as a hand warmer in the field when I'm flying. So I don't know. It might be fun to, to try that out with a transmitter mitt. More RC stuff. AKK boxes. Oh, I love the AKK stuff. It's treated me so well. These are X2 Ultimate FPV transmitters. The X2 Ultimate, I'll post it down below and on the screen now. This is, I believe, 1.2 watts. I can't remember on these ones whether they're 1 watt or 1.2 watts, but they're wonderfully tiny. Great little unit. Um, just They just work. Some connectors. These are straight from China, just uh, JST style uh, power connectors, handy dandy, uh, male and female. And one last one, some OLEDs. These are the 0.96 inch OLEDs that you've seen on the channel here before. I keep one on the bench at all times, ready to go and ready to prototype things. Uh, I now use these on the iNav builds on my RC aircraft as a display to show me what the satellite status and what the status of the flight controller is at a glance which is wonderful because i don't need to use my glove my goggles to see what's going on that's the haul for today guys good luck in all your electronics ventures i will see you next video